This house has the finest air conditioning equipment money could buy in 1979. But, 1979. However, not only am I Scottish, but these also happen to be the quietest running, coldest blowing air conditioners I've ever experienced. So, I want to keep them running and squeeze every plug nickel I can out of them. And one thing about air conditioners, just like clothes dryers and vacuums and most any other machine, they don't like to run with a fur coat on. What happens with these is as they're running and the air is blowing out here, you know, it's sucking in here. And all the schmutz in the air on days like today gets sucked in and it adheres to those coils and forms this fur coat. And you can hose it from the outside, but the better way is to hose it from the inside. Well, in fact, the better way is to call a professional, but again, Scottish. So I'm going to pull my disconnect. Actually, I already did. Very important. Don't get shocked while you're trying to save yourself 200 bucks. And the screen comes off. And then I'm just going to take my hose, my uh, garden hose, <clears throat> and methodically blast that crap from the inside towards the outside. And what you'll hopefully start to see is some of that schmutz come kind of vomiting out of there. So you take your time. You use 25 cents worth of water to save yourself a couple hundred bucks in electricity. And the thing will last longer. So I'm not going to show you this whole, uh, this whole process here, but you get the idea. By the way, the rust is from the irrigation system because that uses well water. It is not the machine itself rusting. The other thing I'm going to do is take my brand new shop vac I just bought from Menards. Yeah, right. And vacuum out the crap in the bottom of it. Because the water will drain, but the leaves and stuff won't. So we're just... And you can see the, the fan blades are kind of getting in the way as I do this. But, and once again, the professional way to do this would be to call a professional. <laughs> and they will take the whole thing apart and they will use coil cleaner and they will, oh, check the capacitor and lubricate the fan motor if that's applicable and, uh, you know, do a better job, but I, I kind of believe in the 80-20 rule. You get 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. I don't know. But anyway, I'm making myself feel good about myself for free. And uh, I don't know about you, but this is how I spend my Thursday nights. Stay cool.